Hey you guys, I'm the Summer Fox, and today I'm going to be making a Promise Neverland phone case. Today, I'll be making an Emma case. So for this case, I decided to take a couple of creative liberties. I'm going to talk a little bit about the ending of the anime, so if you guys um, want to avoid spoilers, then be sure to skip this part, okay? But, um... I figured, since the kids don't know what the world is like beyond their, um, beyond the house, I asked myself, well, what if the earth was a bit mutated? And I definitely didn't come up with this idea because I ran out of black cases and I had a completely different idea in mind. <laughs> So you're just going to take some of this bacon to bend clay. In order to get this color, I mixed in a little bit of white, a ton of red, and a little bit of dark purple. I wanted to get a color that was as close to the actual case as possible. With this clay, you're going to start making little vines and stuff like that. And how I made the vines was I made a rough teardrop shape and then I just kind of stuck it onto the case and I blended it all together. I took a tiny bit of that pinkish reddish clay and I just added a ton of white to it. So for the flower I used some rose quartz clay by Fimo Effects. I sculpted that shape into a diamond. I did that several times until I got a full flower and then I just stuck it to the top corner of the case. Then I just took some blue ice quartz clay and then I made a teardrop shape. I made about four of them and then I just stuck them all together until they roughly resemble the butterfly. And then I just put in some black for the butterfly's body. Next, next you're going to glue down your piece to the phone case with some E6000 glue. Um, my, my E6000 glue was like pretty old so um, yeah, that's why you see it kind of uh, peeling up a little bit. And then after that, I used some UV resin. I used the soft types, so it'll bend along with the case and clay. And then I put that under UV light. Next, I just took some Mod Podge and some extra fine glitter and I mixed those two together and then I just painted it on to the clay parts of the case, specifically just the vine areas. I was trying to go for it like a awesome magical mystical kind of feel and then I set it to dry. But anyway, you guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Bye!